let's talk about how to know raw hair when you see one and avoid paying raw hair prices for virgin hair hi my name is oris and i have tested over 15 raw hair vendors to be able to get the best one for my clients and today i'll be sharing my tips and tricks that i have used in order to lock in my current vendor i'm just gonna put this out there burning your raw hair is not actually going to tell you if the hair is raw or not it's going to obviously tell you that the hair is human hair but you would not know if it's a good quality so stop burning your raw hair it's expensive first tip is to identify where your hair is from obviously if you're going for raw indian hair you should be able to identify am i getting a south indian hair or am i getting a north indian hair because there is a big difference. Once you're ordering the hair and the ordering process, you need to actually ask the vendor, what kind of hair are you providing me? Now let's start with North Indian. North Indian hair is actually not as defined. So when you get a raw wavy for North Indian, for example, let me show you South Indian. This is not washed, so I just got it for my vendor. This hair is actually a South Indian hair. So if you can see the wave, it's quite visible. When it comes to North Indian, you're not going to be able to see the wave as defined. You can see the wave quite all right, but it's not going to be something that you can visibly see. Next difference from North Indian to South Indian is that the ends of the hair are not generally full. They're quite thin at the end. Um, this is because so the North Indian don't take as much care of their hair as the South Indians. The South Indians don't actually process their hair as much, whereas North Indian, they do a lot of processing. Of their hair the next tip on how to know your raw hair is the hair texture so for example when you get the hair through the post um, you need to look at the texture when you receive it without washing the hair without cleaning the hair or adding any condition to it if you get the hair most of the vendors will say condition the hair and leave it to hair dry no once you receive the hair from the pack the first thing you should do is run your hands through the hair for example this is one of my main vendors because i have about two vendors that i use just in case one decides that there is no stock so this is one actually one that i tested as well this is not a bad hair but when i run my hands through this for example this is not something that you can feel from the camera obviously i'm just showing you when i run my hands through the hair you feel that the cuticles are aligned when i run my hand through this one i can feel like the it's not as smooth as this one this is very important because you know sometimes when you get a wig and at the nape of the neck there is a lot of like friction going on this usually happens when the cuticles are not aligned so in this is actually um, making sure that you buy more than one bundles so when i ordered my bundle for this one i ordered about three bundles and i'm going to tell you why i ordered this but it's really important during the ordering process to order at least two bundles two bundles should be perfect especially because raw indian are actually fuller you only need two bundles if you're getting like 18 inch um downwards because you need to see the consistency in each bundle so the consistency mean if you want to run your hands through it if you run your hands through the first one nice and smooth you're thinking perfect but if you run your hands through the second one you can see that the cuticles are not aligned on that one so it's really important to actually buy more than two bundles in order to do your test and obviously be able to identify if your hair is raw or not the next tip is actually the appearance of the hair now i'm not talking about the glossy finish that you get from virgin hair no but there is a look that comes with a good raw hair I don't know if you can see let me know in the comments if you can see please put on i can see it in the comments so that i know that you can and if you can't let me know that you can't because what i look at first is actually the appearance now i'm gonna say here that a lot of these vendors use filters i'm sure by now you should know what a filter is and how a filter will like make the hair look nicer than it actually is but if you can tell that there's a filter in the video run because that means they're actually hiding the true trueness of the hair so if you see this is my main vendor this one here is actually um not as great not the greatest vendor that i have i don't know if you can see the 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 way this glows it's not shiny don't think of it as shiny but there's something that actually there's a finish that comes with it and it, it is because the cuticles are aligned that is one of the reasons so you look at the appearance of it look at how it looks and look at how 
what it gives like does it does it look overly glossy because if it looks overly glossy then it means it's processed one of the most important tips that i feel like a lot of people miss out is actually the mobile number that you're chatting with yeah if you're going to buy raw indian you should not be talking to a plus eight six number that is like if you're buying a chinese hair you should be talking to the right number with the right code that means the number is an Indian number or a Vietnamese number or a Burmese number. Now moving on. To, uh, my, my next tip is how to know what your hair is actually worth. Once you take it off, it's time to wash your bundles. So when you're washing your bundles, I use um, something called clarifying shampoo that I use because this helps bring up like any dirt or if there's if it has been processed you can see that the swords are not looking as clean they're like brown you can see that it's been chemically dyed maybe into black so just maybe they've added enna to it because enna gives that dark dark finish and once you wash it you can see that the enna is coming through and things like that so washing with a clarifying shampoo which i'm going to show up here is basically a very good idea but what I will say is that I've got some bundles that are amazingly good. But when I was washing them, there was a bit of, um, I, it wasn't as clear. The reason is where it's coming from, there's probably dust. And there's an accumulation of dust on the hair. But that doesn't mean that the hair itself is bad quality. It just means that there's been wind and it's been a bit of dust particles on it. So when you're washing, you're washing up the dust. So don't just decide that the hair is bad because the water is not 100% or the swords are not 100% clear. Once the raw hair bundles are washed, you need to then add your conditioner. It's really important to condition the hair. Once you do that, wash up the bundles and just let your hair dry. Now, what you need to look out for is the curl pattern of the hair. So if the hair has been sold as raw and then it's been like properly maybe curled or if you bought it as raw straight hair, and you're washing it and you can see that the hair is turning curly or it's getting wavy it means that it's been processed this doesn't mean that there's different types of process if i talk about the different types of process this video is going to be very long <laughs> but there's different type of process that can be the steaming process the chemically processed one some of them might be steam processed just to get that defined color but i would not purchase from a vendor that is telling me the hair is straight and it has been steam processed at least i should know that the hair has been steam processed when I'm buying it. This is very important when you need to identify if your raw hair is actually raw, is actually installing the hair. Remember I spoke about how you need to buy two to three bundles and maybe a closure or frontal just to, so that you can make it into a wig. It's really important to install the hair and wear it for at least, I always do three, four weeks because I don't actually like wearing hair as much, but I like to physically do a leave out install. Because when I do a leave out install and I sleep with the hair, I wake up with the hair, obviously the hair is packed nicely. This is like your hair, so it's like your natural fussy hair. If you sleep on the bed and you're sleeping anyhow, the hair will still be anyhow. <laughs> but if you sleep and you pack it nicely and you wake up your day and you can see that the hair is matting, that is to show you that the hair, the cuticles are not aligned and the hair is annoying. You need to wear your hair for a long period to be able to identify this hair is raw now i'm gonna say you're gonna watch a lot of videos i will tell you wash it burn it and everything if you actually don't physically install your hair it's a no no like there is no point because especially if you want to sell it to the clients you need to know that the way they will care for their hair it's not going to be the same way you will care for your hair because your hairstylist you're going to care for it more brush it out but it's on a normal everyday buyer will not actually go that in caring for their hair they will just wear their hair and because they know that the hair is expensive they will need to they'll feel like they, they don't need to do as much to get the hair to where it is now it's time to take you on a journey of what i do to test my bundles so you can follow the step it's really important and it's going to help you a lot once i get the pack of my hair and i check all of the tips that i've shared with you initially then the next stage for me is actually to get those bundles and cut some of it now when you open your bundles for example two four inches and cut it into two so you have two separate um long hair yeah once you do that the first step that i do is i bleach one of the strip with a 40 volume developer and it gets to like 6 13 in like 30 minutes once i get to 6 13 i know yes this hair is good once i wash the hair and the curl pattern stays the same as this that is a good indication that the hair is looking good 
The next step that I do, remember we have two strips of air. The next two inches, which is the second strip, is I keep it on the side. Now, I install those bundles. I sleep with the hair. Obviously, when you're sleeping with it, you should not be sleeping and you're not having a hair tie on. And it's like you sleeping with your 4C hair. If you sleep with your 4C hair, remember, if you wake up, you know how it looks? Yeah, this is similar. So it doesn't mean your 4C hair is a bad hair. It just means that you didn't carefully put it away before sleeping. So once you sleep, you need to watch out for the neck part. You need to watch out for matting. You need to watch out for the neck. I've seen it matt or maybe when you sweat a little and you can see that you can run your hands through it and it's like, it shows you that the hair is not actually of good quality. Next step I do is once I've installed the hair or two to three weeks, once I have it on, I take off the hair and I wash my bundles. Let it hair dry. Then I go back to my other strip, which is the two wing strip and I put it together. Once I see that the quality looks the same, yes, that makes me happy because it means that their hair is consistently good. So at this point, you're probably thinking, okay, Oriz, you've told me how to know if this raw hair is good, but how do I actually find a raw hair vendor? Well, my next video is actually going to talk about the exact process that I use to find all of my raw hair vendors without buying a vendor list. Also be providing you with a free vendor list that would help you kickstart your journey. If you got to this point, please leave in the comments and say free raw hair vendor list so that I know that there's a demand for this and I can be able to provide it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.